So it's October 5th and Steve Jobs just died. But back to uh, our economics lecture. We are now in part two and we're starting off with the money system. And the money system consists of three entities. They are the central bank, the commercial banks, and uh, people. So the central bank, I'm a Canadian, so then my central bank is the Bank of Canada. Bank of Canada. But for those living in the US, uh, the central bank would be the Federal Reserve, or we could call it the Fed. And that's for US. And commercial banks are uh, pretty much uh, the banks that you and I usually go to. And in Canada, a couple banks would be uh, CIBC, which is the banks I use in RBC. This is Canada, uh, Canadian banks, Canada. And if you're an American and you live in the US, some banks could be a uh, city group. Uh, I, and Bank of America, if I'm not mistaken. Never actually used an American bank, but I that's what I that's what they say on Wikipedia. So it's US banks. And people are just people. They are you and me, consumers and firms. You know, firms like other than banks, so um, BMW or something. So th they would uh, consist uh, or make up uh, the people in the money system. Now I have here three definitions that I really want you to know. And, but before that, I, gotta, I should tell you what money supply actually is. Money supply, MS. It's simply, uh, it's simply a formula, and the formula is MS equals currency, currency plus deposits, plus deposits, and currency is basically the cash, and deposits is, I guess you can say they're the cash used for loans. And we'll probably talk about them much later, but for now I will focus on these three definitions that I really want you guys to focus on. And the first definition is, yeah, I just wrote them all down so uh, to cut the time short. And the first definition is money creation. It's when new money is created, when the central bank buys a government bond and more money is created through loans. That's pretty much sums up money creation, uh, making new money. Uh, that's what the central bank does. They can make money they, by buying government bonds or they can make money through loans. They pretty much, I think they have the right to create money too, like print them out, print out paper money. And the second definition is target reserve ratio. And this is a fraction of deposits held, held by banks as reserves in the form of cash. The banks will always have cash in their bank because if you come, if you, put your money in the bank and you come back and ask for it back then they must have the paper to give back to you so that that's why they have a fraction of uh, the money you give them always in the bank the other fraction or the larger proportion are you probably are mostly used for loans and cash drain is pretty much the fraction of new deposits held by people in the form of cash so they're the cash that you actually have on hand in a way and that's all i'm going to go through in this video uh, as you have here as you can see right here i have an example that uh, that says suppose there is a hundred dollars of new money and i will go through this example in the next 